Hello everybody, Nidhogg here. Um, it's a special video today. It's actually going to be two versus four hards. And I was actually playing with my brother, who's actually here with us. Yes, after the last video, I decided that uh, maybe I should get a little better. So uh, here I am. So yeah, so we basically, both of us, he just got on Boobly, so he's been playing um, a lot of uh, campaign on Titan. And then we just basically started doing uh, doing online matches. Or not online matches, but like two versus like three hards we started with first. And then we did uh, two versus two hards at first. And then we went to two versus three hards. We beat that. And this is our second try on two versus four. We tried two versus four once. Um, but it did not work. <laughs> Let's just put it that the way. The map sucked. It was the same map. No, it wasn't. It was the same map. Dude. I thought it was Savannah. No, it was, it was Tundra also. Okay. No, we basically we just we got slaughtered. Um, they were raiding us and stuff, and yeah. Um, but this map it was different. It was actually pretty nice. Um, but yeah, starting off, uh, going our normal Thor tactic. Both, by the way, both of us are playing Thor. Um, so Thor, we automatically go on uh, gold with uh, gold mine power, two dwarves on gold, and then spam eight on high hunt. Update, obviously update, um, hunting dogs and pig sticker. Um, and then he did the same thing. You, we, my brother and I were basically doing the same exact thing. Um, he's upgrading pig sticker also right now. Yeah, so we're doing the same exact thing. Um, eight on food, and then we do four on wood, and then two more dwarves on gold. So, eight villagers on food, four villagers on uh, wood, and then four dwarves on gold. And that's basically when we um, advance. Wolf Sark's running around scouting stuff. Uh, let's speed this up a little bit. So, I just I wanted to find a forward base, and I did. So this is where I decided to build a temple, and I have enough, and I'm building a temple. Patrick, I believe he's doing the same thing. There it is. Temple. He's actually doing this faster than me. The temple. Um, so, yeah. Alright. Going to our enemies. Pink played Zeus, Yellow, Loki, Teal played Ra, and Green was Odin. Um, the biggest problem was Yellow. Right, Patrick? Yes. Uh, also... Adrian was nice because he had a settlement that he could use to uh, put his forward base into uh, that played a key role later in the game when they started attacking. I couldn't, so I put my buildings next to my temple, and after that, spam my uh, town center so I had enough. Right, right here is what he's talking about. Like his, This is basically his forward town center, as you can see. This is not really forward. It's like on the side there. Mine is actually here, and every time they attack, they attack from here, except yellow. Yellow came around the back, but... I had a nice little settlement here, advantage, Patrick did not really have that because he had the town center here and all of their units were coming in from here so the town center didn't help much um, with the arrow fire so he just basically had to rely on his soldiers to defend where I had a settlement shooting down people also. Um, so we both visit, discovered our settlements here so that's good. Um, we got, I'm advancing, Patrick is advancing a little bit later, um, but we both basically advancing, and our strategy basically was to get semi-quick uh, heroic or whatever, so we're basically, we're aiming for like a 12 minute heroic, so we can start spamming battle boars, um, and we basically both did the same thing, and you'll see how that worked. But yeah, um, another house here. Uh, he's spamming long house. Oh no, that's a that's an armory. Um, yeah, he's advancing now. Armory, getting ready to advance to heroic cage, even though it's it's uh, it's gonna be a little later. Um, and yeah, so basically, as soon as you advance to classical age, our strategy was um, to start spamming dwarves on gold. Uh, this is how I like to do the quick heroic because that way you're not wasting food on villagers. So you're technically um, you're technically saving food that way. And you by you spamming dwarves, I mean these dwarves are really good at mining, so 
you don't really lose gold, you, you gain a lot of gold. Um, and meanwhile, you have four villagers on wood. That should be enough for you to buy your long houses, the houses that you need until later on if you actually start spamming throwing axe. Um, Alright, the biggest problem with this actually, especially for Patrick, was finding the gold mines. Um, the gold mines were not in good spots in this map. I mean, there's one at your base, and then the next ones were basically forward. There's one right here, uh, there's gonna be one right there. But that's basically all the gold mines we had. And that was a big problem because, they, I mean, against four hearts, they're just gonna start coming in, and you can't really afford to, um, uh, to be mining from these forward gold mines right here unless you protect them. That's how I got cut off. Uh, after I got it to heroic, I couldn't get any gold, so I had to, uh, while I was advancing, I spent my dwarves on high hunt, and then I was just looking for a gold mine. It was tough. Right, and you'll see that later. He's he's gonna have a bunch of twelve dwarves trying to find gold. The good thing thing about that was he had a shitload of gold at that point. Like he had twelve hundred gold, and I believe you know you weren't going to pro it, but yeah, he had twelve dwarves and like twelve hundred gold. So that's why I like using Thor because I just spam dwarves as soon as I get to classical until I get like nine I have nine and then I start spamming on wood I like this because it saves you food at the beginning which you need for basically a quick croak if you decide to go quick croak you basically don't loop pursers I loop pursers because I mean it's four hearts they might attack at any time so I needed force either way that's why we didn't go quick croak right away we just went semi um, and yeah I walled off because I knew they're gonna come from here because I mean that's right in the middle of my base and as you all know computers if they see a wall but there's a different way to get to your base without having to destroy the wall they will just do it so they're not gonna attack this wall I mean they will destroy it the wall because of the god power this thing on their mind but that's because they always do it um, every time they they can use a power god power they just do it um, and then I'll just wall it off and then you'll see how he just comes here waits and then goes back to my location here and Patrick, he's gonna, I believe, wall this area off also, and this area off. So the only way to get into our base is through our forward operating bases. Um, all right. So what's going on here? So yeah, he's going on gold. Once he's done with this gold, he's gonna like start looking around for gold. <clears throat> I'm still hunting. I don't think you are hunting. Are you, Patrick? Uh, no. Let's I see. So. Yeah, you have eight villagers. You're still hunting here, but after after, after this, this I set up farms. you you start he started doing farms. Um, I like to hunt as much as I can, and obviously with the map you can't really do that because you got some forward food here, but you can't really go out here because I mean it's four hard. They're just gonna start spamming forces here, and your villagers are gonna be screwed. So we basically we kind of just like went back with with food, and then once we started nearing their bases we kinda just like went into farms I did go here but that's because like it's all on the side there so I didn't think he's gonna go get, go here and he didn't he went straight uh, into my fort base so yeah I have a bunch of Uh and let's see and I'm still spamming units Patrick is also spamming units from one long house Okay, so he's not spamming you. Mm -hmm. well. I was saving, I was saving okay. food and uh, money to go into the rogue. Yeah, he did, but there was a problem. Like they, I think they started attacking, so you needed to start spamming units. They didn't attack until I was already in heroic with the battle boar. Really? Yeah. After okay. which I just started spamming battle boars. All right. Well, I mean, we're nine minutes in. Yeah. So like, this gold mine is still have a lot. Okay, never mind. Um. Well, yeah. No, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. It's a pretty long game, so bear with us. Um, it was actually a pretty good game because that was actually one of my challenges. Like, I think somebody told me to do two versus four or something. Like that. I don't remember, but I never really wanted to until now. I'm like, all right, you know what? We beat two versus three, so me and my brother we just decided to do two versus four. Um, we did try two versus five after that, um, and let's just say we got slaughtered. It was bad. Yeah, and there we go. He uses undermine on my wall, and he just walks into my into my um into my base which sucks um, because now I'm getting double teamed I'm gonna they're gonna start coming in here soon um, green doesn't have a big army yet but yellow was pissing me off all game and see you can see I'm building another wall here um, but he, it's already too late he's already coming in 
low key he's got hurts here so you're gonna be summoning a lot of uh, myth units and my ulcer dies so I decided to go help my my uh, base and he actually did go back so that was successful Patrick is not getting attacked or he was by like a little serpent and something but it didn't do much um, yeah he fought he that's where he lost the gold mine so he he had no gold mine but he had a lot of food or a lot of gold sorry and he wanted to get to the class or the heroic age so that's why he's spamming these dwarves here um, to get on food and get that heroic age and he's about to go in right now I believe as soon as he gets the food um, soon yeah there we go so he's uh, so he's advancing and right when he says that I had enough resources so he told me okay I'm advancing and I'm like alright I'm advancing too so we're both advancing at the same time I'm walling off a little bit here to protect my hunt and that's you should always do that you should always protect your like your gold mines your hunt whatever I mean I didn't protect here but like I said I doubted that he was gonna come through here and he didn't so that was okay um, so yeah I have an army I'm building up my uh, walls again let's see what Patrick is doing Patrick has an army he's advancing so he's not he, he didn't get attacked yet he has gold no that's me he has gold or he doesn't have any gold miners he's got his all miners right here and that's why he couldn't um, he couldn't def or not defend but like he couldn't attack because he couldn't spam battle boards because he had no food or no gold sorry um, yeah, it was frustrating I couldn't find it eventually I found it and right he was looking around for that gold mine and he finally found it and then after that we started using caravans so I'm in heroic he Patrick is in heroic we're both in heroic um, I decided to build a fill fort here to protect this mine um, right after this one so I have I'm looking good on the gold mines because I have 4,000 here and 6,000 protected right here and look pa Patrick is trying to find a gold mine now and he doesn't find it until like later he has no gold miners 13 gold he was screwed basically he's getting attacked uh, he still has a force to retaliate but he does not have any more gold to spam units um, and he, by the way he's also building this town center here as well as our uh, mine is already built okay I figured um, that there's gotta be a gold mine next to a settlement so that's why right, I built that settlement right so he's going here and then he, he found the gold mine finally so that's good and I believe you started spamming yeah, dwarves from here I started spamming uh, dwarves over here yeah so he, cause he needed gold uh, for the battle boars because that was our plan all along. I mean, I'm I'm already at three battle boars doing more. That was basically our pa plan to just go into heroic and start spending battle boars until we can go to mythic age, and that's basically what we did. So at this point, I don't really have problems with green here, but the worst problem was yellow. Like he kept sending like I don't even know how they got here, but this cavalry is gonna destroy like a like this house right here, the tower, because the tower is not doing anything. I didn't notice. I didn't notice this until later. It was too late. But yellow was just pissing us off all game, and you'll see that later on. Um, so yeah, I have an army uh, walling off again to protect this hunt. Um, and sooner or later, I'll go for this town center right here. But then I'll get attacked, and I have to return. So let's fast forward it right now. Um, let's see. I'm building my town center, my third town center, Patrick. I believe he's gonna start building this. I area. have three right now, so I'm just chilling until uh, I think I still have gold problems. Yeah, you st he still has gold problems. Now he's got villages and gold, and look at all these battle boards. He's got five battle boards. That was our plan. Um, if we wanted, to, we could have probably done a Volkari here. Volkari here. Uh, I think I did. Volkari to start healing the battle board. Also, that's I good. Um. And then, so that would be good. And and here we go. I had to uh, turn back. I went here on the settlement, but pink attacked me. And then yellow came around the side there. So I had to turn back around. I have five battle boards as well. I destroyed the army, and I advanced to mythic age, as you can see. 19 minute mythic age. Patrick cannot, or he can do it. But, oh yeah, because he's building a market right now. So he's building a market. Um, and he's about to advance while I'm getting attacked by green again so I, I was kind of getting triple teamed at this point um, they were both they were all coming to me and then later on they were, they were actually doubling me and then doubling Patrick also so um, yeah, green's army comes here 
I'm out of gold here, so I go gold mining in my little gold mine here. Um, so yeah, Patrick did a, a a market, and he's should be advancing right now. Yeah, anytime soon. Anytime now. Um, but yeah. Uh, so here we go. This is basically. I mean, you have five battle boards in the fire giant. There's nothing really gonna stop you at this point unless there's a big army. So I'm going here again to try to take this area over and Patrick as you can see is already advancing to mythic age so we're both gonna be in mythic age I find a bunch of citizens here I decided to kill them I killed I think all of them yeah I killed them all and started building a town center here but again yellow comes at me from the little side here I, I hated that the most about this game he's going for my gold miners I had to garrison them yeah I had to garrison them um, so I did garrison them. I did have a battle boss to like distract until I can return with my army, and I believe I did that right now. Yeah. Um, so I did protect myself, and I did build a town center. So now we have a town center advantage. Well, technically not really. Um, we have seven. They have more, but that's because they have. Uh... Oh no, we're tied. But that's because they they don't have all of theirs built yet. But yeah, Patrick has three also. And he has a big, oh, that's a big army right there. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so he found gold mine here also, and decided to protect this area, which is good. Uh, I decided to go on green, but this happens on the world. At this point, I'm like, okay, I need to go Ragnarok. So I use Ragnarok, and I destroyed this pink, pink's underworld. Um, I was gonna wait with Ragnarok for a little bit, but I couldn't because he just came with all of his army right in the middle of my base. I don't even know how he got here. Um, but there was a rock that came. Oh, there was a rock. Okay, yeah. yeah. So he used Underworld. Underworld's dead. Um, I come back with my army, Ragnarok, and I decide to go on green with my Ragnarok. Patrick, I don't think he's using Ragnarok yet. No, he's not. So he's waiting with his Ragnarok, rightfully so, because I mean. He doesn't really need to do that yet. He has an army. He does. He does have troops to defend. I had to use Ragnarok because I was getting uh, screwed at my main base. So at this point, I believe I'm going on uh, green. I have full Ragnarok, all six battle boars, and then yellow keeps keeps coming from around here. As you can see, yellow did this all game. Patrick kind of attacked yellow here. I don't know, he sent an army, destroyed a bunch of citizens here. So that was a good. Um, I used but, my cavalry to raid and then right. my battle force to destroy everything. Basically, here's the thing Adrian's getting the triple team, and I'm only facing one opponent, opponent. So all I did is just focus on setting up my economy. Right now, I'm mass spamming my uh, uh, villagers to get ready for Ragnarok once, because right. I know Adrian already used his, and we're going to need it. So I'm just fending off whatever attack is coming, throwing the one guy now, using my cavalry to raid his villagers, uh, basically so, so, sort of stopping and just mass spamming uh, my villagers. I figured Adrian just used this rare so I'm gonna have to use mine soon. Right. Um, and the biggest problem with my map or with with the way I played in this game is I left this whole area right here open. Yellow kept coming from here. He will destroy this wall. And he did major damage to our economy later on, um, and that's the biggest part that I did not do good. Right now, I have so many resources. I should be mass spamming like buildings, hill forts around this very area, getting map control basically. I realized that later on, um, but that was a little bit too late. Like he he did a bunch of damage. But yeah, as you can see, green, I'm basically destroying green right now. Green has one more town center, no more base. I took over his town center. So, there we go. We are basically, we have eight town centers, and they have nine. But that's because, I mean, obviously, there's four of them. So, we're doing good right now. And I have Ragnarok also, and Patrick is defending. So, we are doing pretty good at this point. Um, and once again, I did not... Uh, protect this whole area this whole area should have been protected right now wall maybe here you know wall this area off put some hill forts right here right here this whole area should be protected by now um, I did not do that and that's why I had problems with yellow um, but I decided to go for his town centers for greens town centers and I did that 
Um, destroy this town center right away building it. Or, soon, oh no, I have enough gold. Or I have enough food. Um, I, why do I not have food? Oh yeah, because I have Ragnarok, obviously. So right now, I'm just trading my gold, because I have a lot of gold. And there we go. Town center built. Um, Patrick is defending from Teal right here. Teal is attacking with siege weapons and stuff. And once again, wall gets destroyed. I do not under I don't know how they destroyed that wall again, but they destroyed it. Um, uh, but I right now I have four fire giants, five fire giants right here. I started spamming units to protect this area while my Ragnaroks were destroying this whole area, and uh, I started taking over his farms right here with my little villager. Uh, I just I just wanted to like spam units or spam citizens out of this town center to take all these farms over and that worked also these farms here so I took over his farm Patrick is right here with his army and green is basically destroyed so that's two versus three now much easier for us um, at this point we are have yeah we do have a town center advantage. So we do have population advantage. We have nine town centers and they have eight. So right now we're up by one. And then Pink started researching the Titans. So we're like, uh oh, we need to start researching Titans too. Um, so I believe that's when I started researching Titan. There we go. I am building a Titan. Uh, researching the Titan. And right now this is where the Titan War starts. Uh, they're gonna start another Titan War. I believe. Yeah, I turned back. I just destroyed a tower, and I decided to just go back to my base and build a titan. And I'm gonna do that. I believe somewhere, somewhere. But yeah, Patrick started building a titan also. So we know that he's at the guy a titan, and he's building it rather quickly. So we we are screwed right now. We needed to get our titan up. Um, so that's basically what I did, and that's where my Ragnarok people are coming right now. They are going right there somewhere. I'm back to my base to build the Titan Gate. There it is, right there. Build the Titan Gate and building right here. So Patrick, meanwhile, he's doing a battle right here. I totally missed it. He's just coming in with his Ragnarok. Oh, yeah, you did use Ragnarok right now. Yeah, yeah. So, you used Ragnarok. Flaming weapons here. Good combo. He's trying to destroy... Uh, he tried to go for this this uh, Titan Gate, but it was already too late. So, he basically just decided to sacrifice his Ragnarok to destroy the Titan. I mean, that's pretty good, I guess. Like, he still had a Titan here, so... He didn't have to really worry about Ragnarok. Um, and my Titan was coming also. It's coming down pretty quick. I mean, I have what, 20 people building it. And, um, yeah. So, his Titan, halfway done damage. With these, it wasn't really that many Ragnarok people either. It wasn't full. But then Yellow used a, a Nidhogg. 280 XP left. I don't know how he, um, not XP, life points. I don't know how he got destroyed that badly, but oh well, who gives a crap? That's actually fire giants. And then fire giants, right. Fire giants are good at destroying the Nidhogg. And then yellow kept coming through around here because they destroyed my wall again. And they kept kind of coming in farther into my base, going for my root trade route. Or basically going for our, because Patrick's trade route was going in here too. So, yeah, see this is yellow. Yellow comes with a big ass army. I decided to move back. Teal comes in, and it's all because of this dumbass wall. And I, that's why I messed up. I should have built like hill forts here because that would have protected my uh, main base. And I had to right now lose a bunch of citizens. But at this point, I mean, I had a lot of army. Patrick comes in to help me, um, and we basically go at him with the Titan. I go here, destroying um, uh, Teal. So my Titan is going to be going around here, and Patrick's Titan, I don't know what he's going to be doing with his Titan. Going to uh, finish off. Oh yeah, Patrick is going to be finishing off the Pink's Titan, right here. And Yellow decided to do Titan Gate, so what I did was basically use my Titan to destroy it. Right now I'm just kind of spamming units because they were in my way. 
but there I started losing uh, my Titans health points so I decided to go straight at it I get to it and good job yellow no more Titan my Titan gets destroyed because it was at this point it had it did not have that much life points meanwhile Patrick is destroying his Titan his Titan meanwhile gets killed also he had a lot of units but both Titans are destroyed so no more Titans I think Teal still has a Titan to go where do you want to play? Uh, over here, as soon as I attack uh, Pink, I re realized that, I mean, I send all my force, there's no point of sending it back, so, uh, while Titan was occupied with the entire force, build up this army, build up this, uh, uh, this forward base, uh, spam the crap out of Jarls, because uh, they were really good over here, um, and took care of it that way. Right. And that, at that point, I was also doing the same thing with this area, I wanted to protect it, I did manage to get that wall back up. And this is where I'm like, okay, this is this is pathetic. I should not be like leaving this whole like map area on uh, unprotected. So I just started doing some buildings, and later on I'll start building up all the way up to here. So we'll basically we're gonna basically take map control at that point. We should have done it earlier, but you know we're we're not good players. Or we're not that good. We're not pros or anything. So um, I took the town center here. It's gonna get destroyed because I had no forces here. All my forces were basically right there, or not right there, but like walking around somewhere. Teal builds a base, and I knew he's gonna build it here because I saw it on the map, and I right away went with my army. <laughs> Teal, they couldn't even start building that Titan, so that was good. Patrick told me, "Oh, look, he's building a Titan," so I'm like, "All right, I'm gonna send my army around to try to destroy him," and I did. So that was good. Um, Patrick was getting screwed by yellow here a little bit. Well, not screwed, but like he was well, getting actually, I got kind of lucky because I forgot that the buildings on my first forward base were still flagged over here in this area. So while my base, my forces in, uh, you notice that my forward base is gone. The reason why is because when I was losing this force, I didn't realize that uh, the, the thing that I had spamming over here didn't form because all my army was here. But I guess it got I got lucky because I guess yellow just kept being really annoying and sending forces. Right. I fought this off, pushed through, recreated my base, and just set up operations from there. Right, and that's the biggest thing. Like when you have a back base like right here, spamming all the units right here, you forget sometimes that you have troops in that area so you go forward and then you don't have any troops and that just screws up the whole thing but yeah he's basically fighting here I'm setting up a forward base here operating into Teal's base I'm deciding to go on Teal I'm turning back around a little bit trying to build up some more I already built up this area yellow still attacking me from that side but at this point it doesn't really matter because then I'll just like spam some Yarls from here and defend easily with four hill forts here uh, he's not really gonna do much while building forward base right here. Uh, fire giants, I mean, fire giants are amazing. Um, and yeah, so right now I have a whole army going on teal right now. Um, while yellow right here, Patrick is tussling with yellow here. Um, and my army is basically home free to attack teal, and this is what I do. Um, I believe I go for the town center. I'm going for the town center right now. Or, no, I'm not yet. But I'm basically destroying the army. Um, yellow is kept coming around, but then I walled off this area. I was sick of them coming around, and later on, I'm gonna build a forward base here also. So that's all about map control. If you really need it, it really helps. But yeah, here we go. Town center destroyed. I believe I'll start building it over. Or no, I, oh, I left it for Patrick. Because uh, he needed population, so I never built this area because Patrick needed population, so I gave it to him. Um, that's the town center I gave you, right? Yes. Okay, and I'm just destroying it. Yeah. Right. Because, I mean, he kept getting destroyed by the forces, but that's basically it for Teal. This, this is where the, uh, the. This is where it absolutely switched, where Adrian started attacking Teal. Uh, pink and yellow just started attacking me. So I retracted all the way back to my base. Um, and start attacking and you can see here that yellow's trying to get tricky right and uh, just be completely assholey and just go after our characters right. for some crazy reason right. so all my force had to retract back and take care of that yeah and basically I mean that's all he do was doing like just he's ignoring all these hill force shooting at these axemen and he's going right for the damn um, for the damn uh, caravans and that screwed us up a little bit 
we have to like retrace our forces. I think I'm moving my forces back also. Um, yeah, there we go. My Jarl's coming around, trying to destroy all these damn X Men. Um, and sooner or later, I'll, I'll, I will destroy that. We'll destroy all these X Men uh, trying to harass us. While Teal is completely destroyed. Eight fire giants. They don't stand a chance, basically. I'm still leaving this town center up to Patrick, and then later on, I'll go on this one. I think I'm going right now with these eight fire giants. Oh yeah, with the Jarls here, fire giants, and I'm about to build it up. This is where we sort of got uh, messed up a little. This is where it was panic mode because while yellow was attacking here, pink started building a one there. And as soon as I realized it, uh, we rea we realized that we need to start getting force because we're gonna have to destroy that one. There's no way we're gonna get to it. Uh, we figured that to get to yellow, which was obviously the stronghold side of that, we will have to go through pink. But pink was building a wonder, so that was probably where most of our forces went. Right, and I did not uh, realize that they were building a wonder. Um, at this point, I still didn't know the wonder was being built. I was like doing a bunch of micros. I had to worry about these uh, harassing here. I was doing a bunch of freaking stuff, attacking. So I didn't even realize that oh, they they was building a wonder. And Patrick told me, oh, you, we gotta destroy that wonder. I'm like, wait, what wonder? And then I finally noticed it right there. Um, yeah, Patrick finally building this town center up. And we just decided to kind of sneak around, go around here through basically area where he doesn't have anything and go at the wonder when it's built. So he is gonna build a whole wonder. Um, uh, yeah, going on yellow, I think I'm gonna build this area over, this town center here. Um, but at this still when you don't know that the one there is even in right. Track. I still don't. I still didn't know. Oh no, Patrick is building this town center. Okay, so he's building this one. I built this one, and I started making a fort base to go on yellow. Um, but then I we noticed that there's a one there, so we decided to like basically attack it, uh, coming around the back. Um, I destroyed yellow's force here. I mean, how many do I have here? Six fire giants plus two of Patrick, and right now we're standing army. Yellow is still trying to freaking attack us. Pissed me off, but we're basically gathering army. I'm moving my Jarls here. Um, and Patrick already has an army here. Going at the Wonder. I'm cutting through with my Fire Giants and my Jarls. But then we see this crazy ass force that he has here. Pink has a force, Yellow has an amazing force, and Yellow has a force attacking us also. But that's basically it. Half the wonder's dead. All these fire giants shooting at it. There's no way. Good game, wonder. Uh, basically. So wonder's destroyed. And right now I'm just I'm spamming hersiers because I had no people building. I was just spamming yarls and fire giants, so I had no builders. So I'm spamming hersiers. And I see that he was uh, doing a trade route here, so I decided to mass spam these towers to stop the trade route. And it completely worked. It was so cool. Um, like this, I mean, these these caravans, all these caravans, lost so much gold here. So, Yellow's Academy was going to drain. Um, while Patrick and I are protecting this little forward base right here, um, Yellow's still attacking me right now. But I'm spamming uh, Yarls from around here, um, and I send my Yarl army back to help out. And Yellow's done basically around here. Patrick's. Uh, having a little war here with the pink um, while I'm still trying to spam towers and spamming <laughs> basically fire giants killing every caravan that comes around here so yellow's losing economy no gold mines anymore or the gold mines that are here they're basically in the middle I mean, they're just not doing much but uh, yellow was definitely their best guy he just kept having uh, uh, some troops and stuff and then I started going on yellow over here uh, pink decided to use lightning on Patrick's forces while he's attacking the town center um, he destroyed this town center though and then that's basically it for yellow this is yeah and this is over for pink too because now I just mass spammed everything right. flagged it onto pink and that was it right I mean he could not kill the force that was already there and we basically he had all the force at pink I had all my force going and yellow as you can see look at all these people here um, and that was basically that was it and like I said I did wall this area off and started building a uh, uh, base here 
which is too late. I should have done that way too, way earlier. Um, and that's something that obviously um, you practice on. And now I know what I did wrong. And now I know. But yeah, yellow becoming um, basically nothing. <laughs> Um, all these fire giants. I got ten fire giants here. Uh, Yarls, champion cavalry or raiding cavalry. Everything. Two more fire giants coming. That's basically it for yellow. Uh, he does not stand a chance. More town centers. Population. Uh, Fourteen town centers for his two. No chance anymore. And that was basically it. Um, it was a really fun game. I enjoyed it. Um, Especially because my brother was playing with me. Um, he finally got back on Age of Mythology, which is cool to see. And we're going to start playing online more. We actually started playing against people today. We did win one, um, but then we lost in the second game because it was in water. That was Patrick's first time on water, and we, we, we don't do good on water. I'm, I'm awful at water, too. Um, and that's basically the game. All settlements are taken over. And it's a good game. Two versus four hearts. It was really fun. I, I enjoyed it. Um, biggest issue was the raining. Yellow was raining us like crazy. But once we started fixing that, it was basically over. Notice that it, Adrian was bu uh, busy building up all the forward bases that uh, he had going on on the map. I don't have a lot of forward bases. I just built the one that I was spamming from. Because I figured Adrian already destroyed Teal and he's going to send every single. Um, army that he has on yellow, there's no point for me to build up except to start attacking pink, which is eventually what I did. So I didn't have a lot of map control here. It was okay because my brother did. Right. And that's, that's basically, but ne next thing we definitely need to try um, to do is get map control because as you saw, they kept coming from like the middle of the map. Like if I just spam buildings, Patrick spam buildings there, that area would have been protected and our caverns would not be in danger. And at that point, I mean, if they if they destroy our cavalry or our, our cavalry or our caravans, I mean, we would have been just screwed. Um, but yeah. Um, all right, so that's basically it for this game. We might try a two versus five again, um, for sure. We know what we're doing wrong. We're gonna try two versus five. Um, that's gonna be hard. Uh, we already tried once and we got completely screwed because they were tripling teaming me and then they were triple team Patrick. So. We were just like we were. We held on. We did the same strategy. We held on for like 30 minutes, but we just couldn't. We couldn't uh, get to forward town centers, um, and that, they just basically destroyed destroyed us with population. I mean, it's five players. If they have all their settlements, four to five settlements, we don't stand a chance, no matter what we do. Um, so the the be the best part about that was, or the biggest, um, the biggest thing to do there is get their forward town center. So. That's basically all we need. Alright, so that's basically it. Um, stay tuned for more videos. And we're out of here. See you guys later.